I feel like so much exciting things are happening. PB is about to take the f off. PB, worldwide. It's worldwide. It's worldwide. Okay, Coachella horror stories. Let's get yeah. on that topic. As we all know, I, alcohol and I sometimes- so Shots. Just, Everyone's like, why does Remy not do shots? I'm like, this is why. No, this is why. <laughs> my eyes get so big and my cheeks go. The first time I ever got drunk was Coachella. I was like sloppy. Like I felt it. I can't. For the next day, I was like, let's do it again. <laughs> they were like, what? 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 The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Pretty basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. How is everybody doing today? Um, if I am everybody, yeah, how are you good? doing? Good. I just got some food. We had a little snack, a little lunch break. Yeah. What'd you eat on your lunch break? I love hearing people talk about food, obviously, no. but I love it. Um, well, I had the Haley Bieber smoothie from Erwan. Love. You're sharing it mine. I am. Currently. I, I got am. a little left. <laughs> um, and then I also had a sushi salmon roll. Ooh. And it, I feel perfect right now. A little, a little savory, a little sweet. A little nice little end cap to your meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm having my Haley Bieber Aeron smoothie and I had some shrimp spring rolls for lunch. Oh my God, yum. Yum, I'm honestly still hungry. Like I could definitely eat more, so. I feel like they should comment what they ate for lunch today. I would love to know that. Or breakfast, Is or your, dinner. your last meal on earth still a chicken salad with rice? No, and I hate that that will haunt me forever. <laughs> forever. Every time I eat a salad with rice, I think about you. I... I'm just one of those people who take things so literal. Mm. So when I was asked that question a few years ago, I was, it truly is one of my favorite things. I mean, it's good, but, yeah. No, no, yeah, but you know, the hypothetical situation, like in my head, I, I take those questions as like, what's a meal you could eat every day for the rest of your life? People like pizza and I'm like, oh, I would get so sick of that. But th the whole point is don't overthink it, Alicia, and just answer the freaking You wouldn't get question. sick of a salad with rice every day? I think I was trying to be realist. I was like, okay, well, it wouldn't be that. Whatever. whatever. Point is, I think my answer, I think it changes every time you ask me now, but I, I truly think it'd be Japanese food. Ooh, what kind of Japanese food? I just, oh, like it wouldn't just be sushi because I want sushi, but I also want like the me, I want the like short rib. I want the like, the like I just want all of it. Okay. I want noodles. I yeah. want everything. Speaking of Japanese food, Alicia and I are crashing my parents trip we are and we're gonna go to korea and japan the way that i am crashing your family trip but like <laughs> but you're my fill-in you're my sister you're my fill-in sibling because shane's not going long story short my parents are going to korea and japan for a couple weeks and I've known that they were going, they kind of booked it pretty last minute. They're going and the last time I went to Korea was in 2010 and I wasn't really super interested in K-pop at the time. I always liked Korean food, but I didn't I didn't have like an affinity for yeah. Korean culture like the I do now. Exactly, yeah. and so now I'm so excited. So they planned their little trip and then I thought about it. My brother obviously has his baby, so getting out there on a, an international situation, it would be a lot more complicated and they just can't go right now. And I was like, I don't know how much longer or how many more times I'm gonna be able to go to Korea with my parents. And I just have this really beautiful memory when I went, when I was, uh, how old was I, like 15 at that time? And I remember, we had done like one of those tour buses and we stopped at this really beautiful Korean garden. And my dad had like gotten away from the group at one point, like I, this is ingrained in my memory. And he had like separated from the group. And I was like, mom, where's dad? And she's like, he's having some time by himself. And I like looked over and he was just like crying and like having a moment being back in Korea. So I was like, I wanna go and experience that with them. Alicia, do you wanna come with me? <laughs> Cause you've been wanting to go to Japan to see your family yeah. and I want to go, don't want to go alone. I was like, this is perfect. So, well, and I'm, I mean, trip. I've never been to Korea and I would love to go. And I'd also love to go with like, like your parent, like that's so special. Like yeah. you too, but like your parents who like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I feel like that's so special. And yeah. She yeah. was like, also my parents were so excited for you to come. Oh, I was like, Alicia's <laughs> gonna God. like stay. Well, I, I did it the, in the way where I wasn't like, she's coming by the yeah. way, because obviously they're like, yay, you're coming. And I was like, yeah, Alicia's gonna come, but I think she might stay in, in Tokyo. I'm not sure. My mom was like, have her come. I was like, oh. okay, good. Also, I can totally go back early if you do want family time. No, no, I'm, like it's I don't fine. Mind. It's fine, girl. She's so excited. My mom has all the cute Instagram spots and I just went on Hoot and a Half and Matt's going to Korea in a couple yes. weeks. And yes. so he was I telling think like me- next week. Yeah, he was super excited. And I walked him through some of the street foods he has to try. Oh We're gonna have so God. much fun. No, I, I'm really excited. I'm also excited too, cause I feel like there was the era 
when I first started traveling and and Instagram business and I'm like no I just want to go and enjoy it and and experience yeah. what it's like yeah. and it doesn't have to be you know a whole have, exactly a whole thing no literally like I'm I'm just so excited and I'm excited that they want me there of course they do she's so excited we can get drunk with them on soju oh my god I can't wait we can do well obviously Japan too which is going to be so fun because you and I have gone but for a brand trip so yeah. we didn't get to like actually explore I get to see your family oh I get to see the little god. kids I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited so we'll do a whole all the behind the scenes vlogs obviously for you guys on our channels and we'll come back and talk about it on PB but it's going to be really really fun and also I feel like it's going to fly by because that feels so far away but I actually think it's it's gonna feel it's gonna be way sooner than we think for sure it's gonna come by in the blink of an eye especially because Coachella I know we normally do our Coachella recaps I feel like this year we should obviously we have to wait for it to happen yeah but also like if we feel like it's worth having a full episode. I mean, I hope things happen where it's worth a full episode. I mean, are you excited to see Lana? No, like I I can't wait. I think I'm gonna I got some of her merch and I I'm having my friend help make it into like a sick fit. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <gasps> but it's it's simple, but it's it's for it's the first really, day or yeah, for, for just for, for her Friday. performance? Yeah. For the whole day. Yeah, yeah, for the whole Obsessed day. Obsessed with that. Yeah, what I'm, merch did you get? The race jacket. Cute. And I'm hoping to make it into like a three piece like skirt top <gasps> and like a crop jacket. Oh, how fun. And it's a thin windbreaker, so I'm like, it's not gonna be too hot. <gasps> and I'm I'm excited. I'm hoping custom. it turns out a little custom <gasps> moment. I really wanna learn how to sew. I think that's like a new hyper fixation that I've, I've I've always had as a kid. I remember doing like a home ec class and we had to make a little duffel and I loved it. Oh, a duffel. Yeah. My like God. we had to make something. And ever since I just, I've always wanted to sew. Nava Rose actually just uploaded a sewing tutorial part one. I was like, is this my sign? But I also- I want one too. Uh, both of us are the same. We get our hyper fixations. Yep. We buy everything for it. Yep. And then it just sits there. That's why I have not bought a sewing machine because this thought has crossed my mind mm -hmm. many a time, mostly because I get all my pants hemmed mm -hmm. and I could save so much money if I could just cut it off and just re-hem the bottoms. Maybe we could share a sewing machine so that, Wait. you know, maybe like we could have joint custody over it. If it actually <laughs> ever moves out, which might happen. Sewing room? Sewing room? Let's go studio. <laughs> Hyper fixation room. And like whatever we're like, wa like doing Feeling the for time. the time. It's a gym one day. I was going to say, <laughs> so what have been some of your like hyperfixations throughout the years? There truly are so many. I convince myself when I find a new, not even hobby, just interest. This is, this is it. It's oh. done. It's done. Y the crocheting, knitting. My knitting. I got into a really big knitting phase. I went to knitting club a few times. I like, um, I did a lot of those like, the, what we did for Ollie's birthday, the little phone cases with yes. the little like goo and the, stuff the, the amount of charms things. I have now yep 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 um charm yeah charm bracelets mm. all that just like the little DIY it's just fun but you feel like you oh painting was my more recent one um oh yeah but then I always just leave the shit outside and then Ashley's like two weeks later she's like clean this up <laughs> like clean it up and I'm like I know <laughs> like I just get like decision paralysis like I like it's it's weird because I don't finish it, and that's my problem. Mm, and you're like, I'm going to finish it, but... Point being, I, I don't think I should buy a sewing kit. All of that to say, custom moment, yes. That was excited. a big tangent. I know. I'm super excited. On Friday, I'm wearing, which actually, I hope that it arrives in time. I'm wearing a dress from this Ukrainian designer <gasps> called Frolov. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but they did all of Sabrina Carpenter's. I, when I first saw her looks for her own personal tour, and then for when she opened up for Eras, I was like, oh, I need it's it. Cute. I need it. It's that cute little like uh, lace uh, strapless little mini dress with a little heart in the center. And I was like, I mm. need that. I found the designer. They've done stuff for like Beyonce, Sabrina, JLo, like oh all these God. big people. And obviously- I'm not at that level. So I had to buy it from the website. So I go on the website and the heart one is available, but it's like, it's really, really, really expensive. Mm. And they had a couple other variations that were much, much less expensive. Yeah. So I got that and I got the baby blue one. Wait, I'm so excited to see it. Haven't tried it, but their customer service has been amazing. Good, I messaged good. them and I was like, is there any way I can pay for an expedited fee? Because I really need this. Cause it took like three weeks to make them three weeks to ship. And I ordered this like three weeks ago yeah. and Coachella was, is sooner. And so I was like, is there any way I could pay any fee, anything to do? Like I can tag you guys and whatever, which I never throw that around because yeah. that sounds annoying. But I was like, I've been featured in Vogue actually oh. last year. So I would love if it happens again, I'll of course tag. And they were like, thank you so much. Of course, like we got it shipped out. Like they were being so nice hey, about it. Hey, you never know if you don't ask. 
for that's sure. That's the biggest thing. And like, I just really wanted to wear, I just like, and that's the day Sabrina's performing. I'm Wait, really excited. On Saturday? On Friday. Friday, okay. And then on Saturday, which this is a big reason why I'm excited to go to Korea too, because I haven't been to Korea since I fell in love with K-pop again. And I can just only imagine that every store and every place is blasting K-pop everywhere. Oh, yeah. And one of my favorite K-pop groups called La Seraphim, which I've played some of their stuff for you now. Yes. They are performing on Saturday and yes. they recently just did new promo for a song called Smart. And they all wore these really cute like crochet sets. And then I was like, I want to match one of them. So oh. I'm getting a custom look made to match one of them. Wait, oh, as you should. But I'm imagine, hoping. Bitch, imagine they're like you. Can they point to you? Get up on stage and you're like, oh my God. And I know the choreography. You know the choreography. <laughs> like I need to practice. I just really liked one of their fits and it was so cute. And so I um, am working with Parker, our stylist, who has uh, commissioned two different crochet artists girls to, uh -huh. or like designers to um, make me some fits. So, so I'm two are doing it? Yeah, cause we're like, we're, I'm curious to see, cause it was so cool. She brought me these like hand sketch designs that were like made to my, my, measurements yeah, and everything yeah. and they made so many beautiful variations and like do you want like the sleeve to be like this or do you want it longer do you want it shorter do you Wait, want this so oh because obviously the k-pop girls are like so tiny oh my and god i like they're they're like um shirts on the back were just simply like a little like floss string <laughs> I, and I was like never. nope so sorry <laughs> i will be worrying about my back rolls the whole time so but also like i'm sorry like especially coach like it would pop off that i mean remember when my skirt broke yes. that one time i just like want to feel comfortable mm -hmm. and i can do the crochet but in a way that i feel comfortable like i like having my arms covered i like this i like that so we were able to tailor it to Wait, be I similar mm -hmm. and so she brought me a bunch of different sketches from these two different designers and she was like honestly we should maybe just try both and see which one like you like better wait am i hearing a wardrobe change halfway through the <gasps> day imagine <laughs> you could do a wardrobe change um oh no i was gonna say for like neon carnival or something like you oh. could change for it <gasps> i might need to because it's gonna be cold I anyways know. maybe a crochet pant so that's what i'm <laughs> doing so that's all i have worked up till oh my god i so i i was on pinterest and i saw this really cool um designer where it looked like this shirt was wet like like Whoa. but it was it looked frozen that's the best <gasps> way to say it I was like, oh my God, this is so sick. And it was this brand, I'm also gonna say it wrong, Kalichi.com or something like that. So I like, I'm like, let's just look, you know, let's just look. It's pen, like, I went from Pinterest, it brings me to this website and it said like custom order in three weeks. <gasps> and I was like, and, and it said, or you can have a rush fee. So I was like, oh my God, let's do a rush fee. It's basically this just white tank top, but it it's pretty much like, a whole like breastplate wow. because it's so stiff. And then it just has ribbon that ties in the back. Cute. Um, and it's really sick, but I haven't tried it on yet. If it came, it's sick. And it's custom to like your measurements? No. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, no. I haven't tried it on yet. And I'm a little Let's like- Let's try it on tonight. We should, yeah. oh my God. And then also I'm a little worried because I'm like, I don't think I can sit in it. It's okay, you don't need to sit. I can just lay in the car on the way there. Oh yeah, I'll carry you. Or we could just, maybe I'll- We think, could get you, you like a gurney situation <laughs> yeah we could like, get the, it. like the met gala like we could do I, a girl whatever you um, want and yeah i don't know i just i i love being able to like find designers who i wouldn't normally know like for and sure like, it's so fun and it's so cool so that's kind of like my bigger splurge i just hope it works out i think i'm just gonna wear like more plain jeans with it like more casual i like that idea um just because it is a, it can be a lot especially with hair and makeup i'm like i want to be also comfortable are you gonna be nude under it or are you gonna wear like uh i'm imagining just like simply like a a plate like is it, it is like a tank top? It's like a tank top. It's a, it's it's like a, it's a, mm, I mean, I can show you a photo. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> but like. Okay, wait, I'm so sorry. I just went to their page and their pinned one is Beyonce wearing them. <gasps> it's a sign. Not us both wearing Beyonce designers. In what? honor of Cowboy Carter. You guys know how obsessed I am with Impress. I am wearing my favorite Impress Press on Falsy lashes right now. <gasps> I'm wearing mine too. I'm, I've <laughs> literally, I am, I take pride in how many people I've gotten to start using these. Yeah. They're so easy to do. They're so, I actually, you know what I started doing? I do three and then I cut a fourth one <gasps> in half. So I do a half on the outside corner and it really just opens up the eyes. Wait, I should do that because I usually do, I have three on each right now. Mm. Oh my God, you guys, I'm obsessed with them. They also have the Impress No Glue Mannies. So if you're just wanting a quick little press on nail, they're there ready to go. No glue needed for the lashes or the nails. You know what I just realized? You were speaking into the abyss for a long time, asking Impress to sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> so I've literally been like, I'm upset. Iconic.
Also, I love how they're customizable because if like I'm wearing the wispies today, but on the daily, I usually wear more of the natural. The natural. I'm a volume girl. Oh, you love the volume. I love the volume. They're so easy to do. I love that they go under your lashes because a problem that I have with my hooded eyes is when I open my eyes up, a lot of my eyeshadow will transfer onto lashes when I wear them. Oh my mm -hmm. God. Also with like wedding season being right now slash so many parties and things going on, you want to change up your nails to match your look. I always struggle with trying to pick like a nail to match one event but then I have the next event, like the next day, and then my dress just doesn't match. And you're not going to go back to the salon to get it changed. Absolutely like that's not. too much work. Yeah. And I love that you can just swap them out. I love a press on Manny a no glue Manny. It's always just so, so easy to just change out your look. Also, I love to give my nails a, uh, a little break in between sometimes. And I hate sitting at the nail salon or I hate getting my nails on because it takes so long and they, they last such a long time. Also the lashes will last you up to 24 hours of wear. Also I've swam in them. Like I've literally, you I've did dove into the ocean wearing these. They didn't budge. I feel like they're such a good, they're just a staple forever for me. So visit impressbeauty.com slash basic and use code basic at checkout for 25% off impress manicure and press on falsies. The new star series, Mary and George starring Julianne Moore and Nicholas Galitzine tells a story almost too outrageous to be true, but shockingly it is. With next to nothing to her name and looking to elevate her social standing, Mary Villers sets her handsome and charming son George on the path to seduce King James I and become his all-powerful lover. Trust me, you've never seen a mother-son duo like this before. This show is full of wit, scandal, action, and did I mention Julianne Moore? I mean, we all love Julianne Moore. She's so, 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 so iconic. She's been in so many iconic roles and also just like seems like the nicest woman in the world. Something this audacious and sexy is as genre-bending as it gets. You won't be able to look away. Watch Mary and George only on Stars and the Stars app. Okay, so I first saw this Jordan jersey. Sick, Holy right? shit. So fucking sick. Do you think they take a jersey and like put this material think, on, like a liquid that like, so, like it's I like resin? It's resin. Yeah. I think it's just resin. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to sit. No, hell no. It's I'll so carry stiff. you. So then I went on the website, but I saw this top. <gasps> and it's just a white tank top. Oh, that's so, it's gotta be there like dipping it I in think some they sort just of liquid. Dip it and have it on a mannequin and manipulate it and then let it dry. That is so smart. It's it's like really cool. It's just it's just kind of like boom a lot. Yeah. But yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to sit. Is um, that what you got? Yeah, so I got the <gasps> white tank top one. That's really sick. It's, it's really cool. So in my head, I'm just not gonna have anything underneath. Yeah. But I'll probably like pasties or something. Yeah. And then, I mean- yeah, I think I'm going to do that Saturday because Friday is going to be Lana merch. Friday, I think the white tank. And then s I bought this like really cool butterfly top. This is the top I got. Oh, cute. Really cute, right? Yeah. It's like a gold butterfly sequin yeah, top. Yeah, the handle's Emma Saval, E-M-A-S-A-V-A-H-L. Um, she's based in Miami and it, it's so sick. It's, so it's basically this like nude butterfly top but all the models definitely have great boobs or boob jobs. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure and they're just like I, perky know, and alive. I like, I like my boobs, but I definitely, I'm like, I need a little oomph there to help. I'm the same. So I haven't tried that on yet either. And I'm hoping that works out. And then I was thinking just like a nude skirt with maybe like boots. Tape them to the gods. No, I, I know, but it's so like sheer and nude. So uh, I'm like, I think I was going to see if so like I Sati could like put like something like in a there. a cup in there? Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's try them all on tonight. I know. I need I need to because if not, Pretty Basic merch is going <laughs> to be what I'm wearing. That's okay. I'm kind of wondering like Coachella fashion. Well, first of all, no one's going this year. Second of all, I wonder if people are going to step out or be like really casual. What's the vibe? I think it's going to be a mix of both. I feel like in the influencer world, there's just a lot of people not going because they're not going for brands. I feel mm. like a lot of people are going to be going to parties and like that kind of stuff. Oh, I forgot. There's like parties. Oh yeah. That's there's so, so many parties that people go to. A lot of people don't even go to the festival. I was going to say like in the Coachella world of Coachella in influencer world, you either go because you genuinely like the festival, which is us. You go with a brand or because you're working or you go just for the parties. Like that's mm -hmm. a whole other realm. I forgot that there's so many parties going on too. I know, but I would, I can't imagine driving out and not going to the festival. But that's just cause we like actually, like we enjoy the I festival know. aspect. So many people don't, and I understand it gets very overwhelming. It It, it is, I will say that. Um, but we are, yeah, we got, we're working this year. Go like our sponsored content. <laughs> 
I will say I'm starting to finally feel really excited about it. And I know by the time this comes out, it's already passed and people are probably over it. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of glad it's less people are going because it'll be less crowded. Last year was like, a, it was a little too crowded. Well, I had, oh my God. Okay. Coachella horror stories. Let's get yeah. on that topic. Yep. First off last year, I had a full blown anxiety attack because there were so many people and I just got way too overstimulated and it was just like too much. You know what I'm going to say? Hmm. I also think it's because Cal wasn't there. My ESA. Yeah. Like, I, like, no, because I'm fine without him most places. No, you're fine, but I would feel that, like... I would have been soothed had he been yeah, there. Yeah, like, I, I feel like I would be, like, I'd feel so safe if I had, like, my mans with me. I think also I was with a lot of my anxious friends, too. So it just, like, we were all, like, you're balls like, of anxiety <laughs> together. It was a lot, for sure. But... That was definitely a lot. I think that this year I'll be, I mean, Cal will be there, so I'll feel a little bit more safe. And then also I um, will just not go into those really crazy crowds anymore and keep like weaving in and further and further and further into the big crowds of people because that was my fault no, doing that. No, that was the, Coachella's fault because Blink-182 should have never been at the Sahara Tent. That should was have been, crazy. That was actually, that it was giving fire Festival for a second. Yeah, I no, I had a real full anxiety attack yeah. and spiraled, and then I think I went home early, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you went home yeah. early. You didn't, it was you just a, it was a lot. I'm gonna definitely be more aware this year. Yeah. Also, another Coachella horror story, not horror horror story. Horror. Um, horror story. One time I got this was like years ago. What year was this? 2018. Oh, 19, she remembers 19, 19. 2019. I um, went a little too crazy and drank a little too much. A little too early. A little too early. I've learned. And if anybody else has this problem too, and when you go to a festival or like Vegas, for instance, or you're like on a bachelorette weekend or something, I cannot keep up with everybody all day. Like I have to choose morning or night. Like I'll be fun during the morning. I'll be fun during the night. You get one. Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, also, I'm always fun, but you can't take a nap. Or no a break. nap, no naps. Even after your birthday party for the yacht, mm -hmm. I remember you were like, we're just gonna go home so I can change my shoes. And I was like, if I go home, I'm out. Yeah. I'm done. We fucked up. But okay. we've learned that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to just keep the ball rolling. Uh, I drank a little bit too much in the morning. And now with Coachella and things, I don't start actually drinking till like late afternoon because then I don't get sleepy. Mm -hmm. Cause like, I don't know why I get sleepy with alcohol. So uh, this day I started a little too early in the morning. I think I started probably drinking at like 11, which crazy. We got to the festival and I just started uh, pounding shots when I shouldn't have. And uh, at one point we're at like a table and talking to everybody. And I was talking to Alicia, I was talking to Uran. And then uh, our agent was like, hi, Remy, I want to introduce you to this other person at the agency. And I was like, and I turned around and I started to feel so sick. Like I just, as we all know, I, alcohol and I sometimes- do Shots, everyone's like, why does Remy not do shots? I'm like, this is why. No, this is why. <laughs> I was like, I looked, I looked at our agent. I was like, I'm so sorry. I can't talk right now. I turn back around. I look at Uran. I make eye contact. My eyes get so big and my cheeks go. <laughs> and I projectile vomit. And it was red it because was all I had was just crystal light and vodka. <laughs> and I profusely projectile vomit on a tree <laughs> in this section. By, and by the bar it was so it was humiliating i'm sorry it was like the sun was out Not i don't even, know i didn't even tell the story before the either. sun wasn't setting the sun was fully no it out. was like 1 p.m yeah. <laughs> i just had gone way too hard way too early and i just like i got so excited i think it was the first day too and mm -hmm. i was just like oh my god i'm so excited to be here so bad and i had a bad year the, the year before i had a really bad experience mm -hmm. so i was like i'm gonna have so much fun i completely overdid it <laughs> Um, Alicia and I were like, oh my God, they're gonna kick us out for being like too drunk too early. And yeah. it's bright, like you can't do that. You can't be throwing up for a split on a second, tree. I was like, is she okay? And then I was like, we're gonna have to go to the, I thought we were gonna have to go to the like uh, medical tent. I was like, I felt fine. Cause also like, I felt better after I, I got out of my system. I was just like, oh my God, if a security, security guard sees me puking like you look midday you're way too drunk go home yeah it was really it was really bad but it's it's ingrained in my memory and fun fact even to this day that specific tree if we're like trying to meet up with, with our friends we'll be like meet at the tree because we, no, we all, say puke tree well we all meet know at the puke tree. what tree that is <laughs> i actually i saw we sat by her last year yeah. we had a nice little luncheon by her yeah. she's still standing tall <laughs> Ew. standing tall pink yeah. roots um yeah that was definitely one of my horror stories do you have any i mean the first time i ever got drunk was coachella ever pretty much ever yeah was this the time where you kept trying to drink though and you weren't getting drunk or was that a different time yeah so i was with ava this is like like i had like had alcohol before but this was my first time 
drinking excessively to the point of <laughs> so it sounds so bad when we talk about it like this <laughs> i know but like this was my first, it was 2015 i think and i i've said this story before on a truth or drink with ava funny i think um but we had gone together her boyfriend was camping so we went to his campsite to like hang out for a little bit and um i remember we, like we were both like we want to get drunk but like <laughs> i also didn't know like any limits then so i thought like the tiniest bit would get me drunk and I'd be like i don't feel it like it didn't compute to me yeah um and again, I was like, oh, I just, I feel like everyone else knows what they're doing. When it, Cause I was like, I was like, oh my God, I was already 21 by that point. Yeah. Um, so I just remember taking shots out of, of rum out of this bottle. And I remember her boyfriend being like, oh, you're not taking it. I was like, no, I am. But to prove my point, I would take another one. I think I probably took six in a row. Oh my God. I didn't know what I was doing. Like I didn't know what I was doing. Did and you also puke on the tree? Um, trash can Ooh, mm -hmm. at least you made it in mm -hmm. thank you ava we talked about it. she's like i held your hair back like, <laughs> I was like she's a real at one. the festival yeah so i just remember instantly <laughs> I know it's both puking I, there. <laughs> no it's embarrassing i remember walking from the tent to the festival i was like just like like feeling, feeling myself it, I was yeah. like, oh, and i'd be like twirling and i'd just be like like i was i was being a, like oh my god it was so bad <laughs> and then i remember we like went to one stage and then we went to another stage and i just remember like i was probably i probably looked so bad i was just like <laughs> all over the place just like sloppy sloppy so <laughs> and i feel like even now i'm not really sloppy when i drink but i was like obviously my body didn't know what it was like i was like sloppy like i felt it and then I just remember being like, I'm going to go throw up or something like that. Like, I just remember being like, I can't, I want to sit down. I ended up laying on the, gr the grass for the longest time. I like threw up by a trash can. Ava's like holding my hair oh. and it, it, oh, I, to this day, I can't have rum. Like hate it. Absolutely. Hate <gasps> that's, it. that's the reason why that's you can't reason. have oh, rum. Like I can't, I just, like, oh, I <gasps> can't. So then I remember I'm like laying sideways on the grass and then I text Ashley, I threw up <laughs> and then she said she was at some sudden instantly sobered up because I'm sure the older sibling thing where it's like, what? They need me. Yeah. And I just remember my opening my eyes and it was so blurry. I see this key, like kiosk and it said info booth eight. And it had like a, remember there were like hippos? A mirage. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, I was like, bye hippos, info booth eight. Aww. And I like, whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm sure it was like 20, 30 minutes. Were you like, you like passed out? Oh, pretty much, yeah. Oh my god. Ava and her boyfriend were with me, so like I was, I felt fine. I felt okay. fully safe. Okay, okay. Um, and they were so sweet. They were so sweet about it, because <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. Uh, I just remember like waking back up, and Ashley was there, and I was like, Oh, you're here so quick, and she's like, mm, What? Like whatever. So they bring me back to Ava's ex's tent, our boyfriend at the time, and I distinctly remember for years I thought they left me in there to sleep while they went back to the festival, and I was like that is so dangerous. They just left me in some random person's tent while they like, whatever. And then I remember, um, I remember Ashley being like, no, we were outside the tent. <laughs> like for years, I, I was like, damn, like that's kind of bad. <laughs> like I can't believe they just left me there. Aww. But but yeah, she's like, no, we were like there. Like we waited outside the tent. For Did you, you sleep through the night or what happened after that? I definitely fell asleep for like a hard minute. And then somehow I got home. And then I remember the next day I woke up and I was like, let's do it again. <laughs> they were like, what? Like they're like, what? But also, you know, like, I mean, you have no hangover when you're. Oh my God, young. I miss those days. I know. Remember that time I brought a hookup to our house? Oh. Who probably just used me for the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so honest. He probably just really needed a shower because he was camping. So I literally went and picked him up from the campground to shower. How sad. Wait, did you pick him up? What a low time of my life. Yeah. <laughs> did you drive? <laughs> I didn't know that. And I think it was like, you said, let me make it easy for you to say yes. Oh my God, for sure. Oh my God, how sad. <laughs> I bet it was, I think it was like Monday too. So there was all the traffic of people leaving. I was like, it's fine. I'll come get you. Pick them up, take them, shower back to the campsite. <laughs> uh, I did not know you picked him up. How I was also sad. probably passed out. I think on the couch that night. That yeah. Was a different year. I am so aware how it sounds to the public people, the people listening. I mean, I like, feel like every video I'm like, I was so drunk. I'm no, like, oh all my these God. were like years apart. Yeah. But Different, well, those, that was a day. Oh uh, yeah. That was a year apart. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, this year is going to be fun and tame. I mean, this is us. I hopefully it is or not.
or, you know, we'll see. We're just getting going. So Remy and I are currently planning a big trip to Korea and Japan together this summer. We're so excited. And we're on the hunt for a few new luggage and wardrobe pieces. My, um, my big suitcase that I've traveled literally the world with has officially broken <gasps> a little too much. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. And, and here's the thing. I could... I could just pack less. No. But why would I do that? No. <laughs> well, especially if we're going for a long time. I'm so excited. I personally have been loving, I mean, I always love boots, but you know, I especially love boots. And as a wide calf girly, I've been buying all my boots from Macy's. I'm not even kidding. If you guys watch any of my outfit of the days or vlogs where I'm wearing knee high boots, they are all from Macy's. I did a big overhaul and bought like four or five pairs. I just got new gray suede ones, Ooh. which are going to be so cute to transition into spring because there is nothing I love more than a sundress with a knee high boot. It just adds so much more and it takes up way more room in your luggage. True. So, so obviously Remy and I both need some different things before we go on this really exciting trip. If you guys have any recommendations, send them our way, but we have a recommendation for you. Macy's is actually having their lowest prices of the season sale from April 9th to April 14th. You can shop from brands like Tommy Hilfiger, Adidas, Samsonite, and more with sales ranging from 20% to 70% off home and luggage, 40% to 60% off women's clothes, shoes, and handbags, 50 to 60% off men's suits, shoes, ties, and more. Ref Lauren has some super chic pieces on Macy's. Also the bag selection, you guys, you know, I love my bag. So does Remy, but let's be real. They have everything you could need. With top designers like Kate Spade, Michael Kors, Coach, there's, oh my God, there's just one really cute new Coach bag. There's actually a few. Their Coach is killing it right now. They're, I'm obsessed. There's this one I recently saw. I've been into the denim trend. This one, I think it's called the Willow Denim Bag. It has the cutest like Y2K elevated feeling. I honestly have debated getting it. That one, or there's also this like small little crescent one that they just came out with. So cute. So if you love your purses, if you love your bags, like Rem and I do, um, definitely check out Macy's for that too. Because like we always say, they have everything, but we seriously mean it. They have everything. Last year when I went to Japan, I try to step out the looks. And looking back, I, I didn't love them all. I definitely, there, there were choices that were made. Oh no. Choices were made. The choices were made. The fits were serving. They, the, <laughs> the fits were there and the choices were made. Uh, I feel like I just really want to step it up, especially like, you know, going with Cal, low stakes, fashion. You know, he doesn't care. He thinks I look great in everything. You know, my problem when I go on big trips, I always have the cute fits. I forget the basic stuff. Mm. I forget a normal t-shirt and jeans. You know what I do also agreed with that? I'll like plan really cute outfits and then I'm so bloated from or feel, food, yeah, from yes. all the delicious food <laughs> that I'm like, I don't want to wear this crop top and skirt right now. I just want to wear jeans and a shirt. So you're so right. We mm -hmm. need to go get a bunch of cute basics. I need to get some cute boots because it's going to be like cool, but like heating up over there. And I want to just step out the looks. I'm going with you. So obviously I have to bring out the Instagram looks versus <laughs> Cal and I wearing leggings every day. Hey, but at least you were comfy. That's so true. Meanwhile, I was sweating so much. But you pulled out the looks. <laughs> you pulled out the looks. I appreciate that. Thank you. All to say, you guys can shop Macy's.com or in store and expect all day specials Tuesday through Sunday. Another thing is new I can update the people with is my girlies are back. Yay! Yes! If you guys didn't know, um, I actually used a referral from Remy mm -hmm. um, for the guy who trained her girls. Um and her dogs. So he actually, I sent Rosie and Chloe and they've been gone the past like four weeks and they finally came back on Friday and I am so happy. They are so well behaved. It's definitely, we're at that point where I'm like, I know it's up to me to keep it up like Ashley and I, but I think we're taking it really seriously just because already there's so much less stress. Like when people come over, when there's deliveries going on walks. Oh my God. I used to have to like go across the street and go the complete opposite if I saw another dog coming. Oh, wow. And now I can walk right past them. Good. And it makes me so happy. So one, thanks for that. Um, But two, yeah, they're back and I'm so happy. I learned from, I think it, it was my psychic. I learned from my psychic, in case you guys missed it, I have recently been consulting with a pet psychic slash animal communicator. And she told me that every dog... Well, I guess we can only talk about dogs. I'm sure a lot of animals though. Every dog uh, needs a role or needs a job. And so if your dog's barking at the door, if your dog's barking on a walk, 
they think like that is their, their if you job. don't give them a job, they give themselves a job. Oh and so they're like, oh, my job is the, to, the barker, the protector to let them know someone's here. Like that's why they do those things. Wait, we touched on that. I, f I think that was the gals on the go episode. Yes. Uh, can we actually dive into that? Into that the story is insane. Yeah, we could talk about that. It's so, lighting. it's so entertaining. Long story short, in case you guys missed that gals on the go episode where we talked about it, I have been having some stuff going on at home with my dogs. Uh, literally since I uh, last talked to you guys, I got bit in the face, but I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just like, we're still working through it. It's significantly better than it used to be, but actively I'm still trying to work on it. Um, just because basically I have a puppy. I have three dogs. One's 10 years old, almost 10. One, I won't age her. She's nine. I have a, a three-year-old dog. And then I have a one-year-old puppy. And when the one-year-old puppy hit one year, she hit social maturity and decided that she, and she's very headstrong very stubborn, very headstrong. Even when they went to training, the trainer was like, you've got two really stubborn, headstrong leaders and one little docile oh. back of the pack girl, Momo. And so he was like, they're basically gonna, they're gonna fight for uh, alpha mm -hmm. spot. And so when Luna hit one, she just all of a sudden, like social maturity, boom, I'm ready to be alpha. So she and Daisy started fighting like, feral dogs for the alpha spot and like hurting each other, hurting me and trying to get in between. Um, and I've been trying to implement, I've been talking to the trainer to try and implement like any sort of tactics. We've been literally, we've been doing this for months now mm -hmm. and been trying to just figure it all out. And I was at this point where I was like sobbing all the time. I was so stressed out. I literally like Cal and I were not comfortable in our own home for, we haven't been for months or had not been for months because we were always just anticipating a big breakout and mm -hmm. I didn't want either of them to hurt each other. I didn't want to get hurt myself. Didn't want Cal to get hurt, X, Y, Z. And so I, we've been stressing out. Cal and I like didn't even sit on the same couch. Like we didn't even sit downstairs together for like a whole month at one point because when it would get to be nighttime, if I was on the couch, then they would fight. Like we would have to separate them. Mm -hmm. So we just separated each other with each other for a long time. It was this whole, whole thing. Um, but obviously at the end of the day, I don't, I don't care as long as the dogs are not hurting each other and yeah. we figure this out, it's fine. Um, so I was at this point where I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I'll try literally anything. I'm still trying this, the, the training tactics. I'm like, I literally had them on their spots as long as I could. Like I was practicing everything that the trainer told me. I was doing so much research online. I read every fucking Reddit forum, every uh, like interview, every article I could about this specific type of like territorialness Dynamic, slash yeah. yeah alpha also three dogs uh, it's a lot also i said this when we were talking about it but like at one point my i had to realize yes there are babies but they're animals mm -hmm. at the end of the day and it's crazy when you see them fight i mean you've seen them fight sometimes they're not themselves like they like it's because it's they're animals oh like no this, they like, get in this trance yeah. which is why i sent rosie because mm -hmm. i was like i can't control i don't i can't control this and then having a lot of people over like you know, there's, you just can't have anything Sometimes happen. you just need an expert to like actually remind you for sure that they are animals. I was just telling Matt and Mike and Mike was like, he's been to Caesar Milan's like, uh, really? ranch. Yeah. Oh my God. And he was like, when I went, Will Smith's dog was there. Ryan Gosling's dog was there. And he was like, I don't even believe it, but, or I didn't believe it, but seeing the, how he does it. He was like, I, he was like, I would consult him if it gets worse. Yeah. I was like, no, I hope not. All to say, I was like, I'll try literally anything. And I was talking to my wonderful friend, Kim Tai, who had used the same animal communicator for her dogs. Cause she has four. Mm -hmm. And the fourth dog that she brought in was very aggressive. He came from Korea and he was about to be euthanized. And so he came and was very aggressive and like had a lot of problems with the other dogs. She talked to this communicator night and day. So I was like, give me her number. I'll talk to her now. So I did this Zoom, which she's so nice, by the way. I was literally just texting her this morning because she was checking in on us. <laughs> and she was like, can I write about the girls in the newsletter? I was like, oh. sure. <laughs> she's so sweet. And so she had just, uh, our first meeting ever was a, uh, like a 45 minute zoom. And all she asked me was for a photo of the dog's eyes and nose, like just their face and their age. And so initially I had just put Momo and no, no, sorry. Initially I had just put Daisy and Luna on there. Cause those are the only two oh. having a fight. Like Momo's perfect. Yeah. Momo's always so good. And so I get on the zoom with her and Cal was out of town and she was like, is there, do you have another dog? Like, I, I just, I feel more than just like the two dogs. I was like, I have a third. She's like, oh, I need to like, I feel like energy. Like I need to, I need to know all their names and all of them. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I thought it would just be Did for them. Did you tell Cal you were doing this? Yes, I did. Uh, I could imagine. Cal was out of town. He, well, Cal was just like, okay, if that's, yeah, yeah. If that's what you want. And so, and again, <laughs> we were just like, we'll try 
anything oh, yeah. at this point. Like I was so sad every day about this. And also it's kind of so different stressed. when you have a friend refer something and it's like, oh, why not? Versus yeah. like, you know. I think it was like 80 bucks. And I was like, if it if it doesn't work, it's 80 bucks. If it works, amazing. Yeah. And so I'm talking to her on the Zoom and I give her like Momo's photo. And I'm like, we're all, we're talking about all of them. And she goes through each of one. And I'm sure not everybody cares about everything she said about my dogs, but she said such specific things. It's so insane. That only like myself, Alicia, Ollie, Cal, like people who like know the dogs would know. Um, She said, like, she kind of like started to read about Daisy and like, again, just specific, Daisy, Daisy's a diva. So just very, she's her diva demand. So she had like very specific things. Like I need to tell her that she's beautiful every day. Mm -hmm. Otherwise she'll get upset. And I'm like, I kid you not. If you go up to Daisy, you say, you look so beautiful. Tail wags. I'm not <laughs> lying. And then she said that Momo like loves Cal. She loves Cal. And then, like, you know, everybody mm -hmm. knows Momo and Cal have a special bond. She's like, Momo's very worried about Cal's health. He, she really wants him to go get a physical. She's like for, you know, Momo to care this much about, about Cal or about a human or just anybody that's not like her it shows that she's less of a dog and more of like a spiritual being. And I was like, what? <laughs> All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> also to say, and Cal's clocked it. I thought I was doing a really sly job. I've been trying to really get Momo to like me more now. <laughs> <laughs> you're like okay spiritual no, being because like, then daisy is like my my little mm -hmm. shadow as we know i've had her for nine years six of those were by myself and um she had asked daisy <laughs> she asked daisy because she was like well momo cares so much about cal again cal was out of town so she was like cal should really go get his like physical done like momo's really worried um she's like well momo cares so much about cal daisy do you have anything you'd like to say for remy this bitch and i quote Today is all about me. <laughs> so we got back to the Daisy of it all. We read Luna and we kind of figured out like the disconnect of what was going on. And I think a big reason why they were butting heads was because when Luna came home, I didn't know I was keeping Luna. I, yeah. I had gotten her as a, a gift for Ollie. And so I just brought her into the house and I was like, oh, she'll be gone like in a few days. Obviously she didn't. She obviously stayed, but I know, and this is what we did with Momo when we got a second dog, you introduce them on neutral territory. You go for a walk together. Like you, you try to do all the things so that the dog that you had before, similar to like when you bring a baby yeah. home, a second baby. I never thought about feel, this. Yeah. You want them to feel like, cause they're so territorial. Like this is my house. Who is this coming into my house? So, uh, I took all these things into account. I, again, a part of me was like, this is crazy, but she was like, I'm going to talk to the girls and, you know, I'm going to tell them that this is how it's going to be. We need to like get with the program and did like, you, you can't be doing this anymore. Did you like leave the room? No, I was sitting there. I was watching her. She wasn't looking at me. She was like looking to the side <gasps> and she's like, Daisy, this, this, <gasps> oh Luna, my God, was this, that weird? Did you laugh ever? No, uh, no. I like, I feel like, I feel like without meaning to, I would easily be like, <laughs> like, I'd be like, this is so like, I think I crazy. was just so miserable yeah i was like i i pray this works like that i i was on my like last leg i didn't know what else to do i had exhausted every other thing i could have done so i think i was just desperate i was just like please work please work please work i kid you not we get off the zoom and i had daisy on my lap and momo and daisy or momo and luna run downstairs and normally if luna had run into the room they would have started fighting immediately she runs down calmness <laughs> pure calmness and i was like <gasps> and i had just closed my laptop and I kid you not, my assistant Brooke walks in like maybe an hour later. She's like, I can feel an energy shift. I was like, I know. Like it felt so much lighter. A big thing also, if you have dogs that are fighting, uh, one thing that she really taught me was that all dogs can like feed so much off of your energy and your emotions, whether you're anxious, whether you're sad, whether you're happy. Obviously we know that they're like in very good sniffers they can smell all these like yeah. sort of things natural disasters diseases all these things so she was like anytime they're about to fight because i would my i was so tense every single second of my life in the house while they were fighting like five times a day obviously because i was always just like ready to break it up she was like try and loosen up and try and play a mental movie of them if you feel like they're gonna fight try and imagine them not fighting, try to imagine one leaving the room, try to imagine them playing, try to imagine them sitting, like try to imagine calmness and that will help. And it's helped so much. Yeah, I do I do know that that's a thing. For sure. Or even how they can sense if you're not a dog person. <gasps> like that's a is thing. Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good thing to know. Yeah, she was like, remember those. And even if all of this is a placebo, all to say it's, com it's worked 
so well. We still have the occasional little tiffs here and there. Also, you've referred how many people? Oh my God, I've had so many friends go. My favorite thing has been hearing through the grapevine, people being like, oh my God, I saw this pet communicator that Remy referred me to. And I'm like, "Um, oh, I wish you had an affiliate program, bitch. She texted me today. I think you referred 30 people. She said, thank you for the referral. She said she's been too busy to do social media. So it's been really helpful. I know. And I'm like, I mean, I'll link her down below if you guys are interested in checking her out. (laughs) She's seriously amazing. And again, even if it's like, at the end of the day, I really don't care as long as it, it worked. No, like some of the specific things that you or even our friends have said, I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. I have a friend who has had, she's a very anxious, anxious, anxious dog. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know until I started telling her about this pet communicator that I was talking to. She was like, oh my God, I really need to talk to her. I've been living in the dark. And I was like, Wait, what? what? She was like, my dog has been barking so much. I've been living with the blinds closed 24 seven because I'm every time I open them, she barks. And I was like, um, you should not live that way. Yeah. We should figure this out. Yeah. And so she made an appointment and she had said that, I, or I know she also got this dog because she has really bad anxiety herself. Yeah. And so she got her dog to help with her anxiety attacks to use it like truly as an emotional support animal. And so uh, the psychic was like, what do you do when you have a, an anxiety attack? And she's like, well, I hold her and I, you know, I like use her to help me through it. And she's like, you can't do that. She's like, this dog has so much anxiety on her own. And she's also oh. like feeding off so much of your anxiety. When you have an anxiety attack, you need to go into your room alone. And like, you can't bother her. Cause it's like, it's making her so much worse. Oh no. I was like, well, that sucks. Well, I for think both that's, of them. A, that's a good thing though. Like even when you're going, when you're getting a dog or an animal, especially for an emotional support to like really look into the breeds and like which ones are like, there's like some that are just more anxious. Some, yeah. Don't get a chihuahua. Oh, like or, they're gonna be or a malty shih tzu. They don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> Those don't care. And Momo could, Momo's too nervous herself. Yes. But it's like, it's so crazy. She also had lived with her dad until very recently. And the, her name's Kara, the animal communicator. She was like, um, have you... Did you used to have like a a male paternal energy in your life? She's like, yes. She's like, she really misses him. And, you know, she really, is there any way he could come back? And she's like, no, he can't come back. And she's like, okay, well, uh, she really, like small things that she liked that he would do is like when, you know, when he'd get up to make a snack, he'd also make her a snack. So if maybe you could start doing that for her, I'll tell her he's not coming back, but, you know, you're going to do these little things that remind her of him. And it was just like really sweet. And things have gotten better. Oh my God. Yeah. Again, I don't know. I, I'm not going to sit here and say that everyone should do it, but I just know it worked out for no, it's myself just and funny my friends. I'm like, what do they think? Also, da- the she Daisy did. ones were so spot on. You have to know Daisy to get it though. I'm not yeah. going to sit here and tell you because you don't, you won't understand. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you, She, I have to tell her she has a cute butt when she walks. <laughs> like if that tells you anything about my dog. Or that she feels like all of her, your success is because of her. <gasps> she does. She thinks that all of my, of my success is attributed to her. And I, when I'm in my office, I didn't even know she was in my office yesterday. I turned around, she was laying on the bed. She'd been there for like five hours. I think she really thinks she's working. Also, she think about it. She was with you at college. No, I know. And she is the reason and for then, my success. And then she went to your next apartment. Mm-hmm. And then she went to your high rise apartment. Mm-hmm. Now she went to your house, but she's like, I'm the reason I did all of this. I was with you during, and I this. have a cute butt mm-hmm. and I'm beautiful. No, I agree. And she is all those things. And she is. And she is. Overall, it's been a very interesting experience. And I, would, I am, I'm just so happy that things are going better right now. I feel like I would be scared that they would say something I didn't want to hear. I mean, yeah, for sure. I At one point, I was going to psychics for myself, like weekly, and living my life through what they would say. And then I started to realize, A... So not a good way to live your life. No. And B, I started to hear things that I didn't want to hear. And I was like, I should only do this when I'm like ready to hear the bad things because mm. it kept making me really upset. Well, yeah. Also, yeah. Yeah. I would make every decision based on like what a psychic would say. <laughs> I've had quite a strange. And you got scammed from that one psychic. Oh my, I brought that up to Matt today. Oh my God. He remembered. Oh, She's he, still there. She's still, she's still there. Damn. Living off that rent that I gave her. You really, you paid for her mortgage for like a year. No, no, no. I paid for one, month. one month, one month of rent. <laughs> one month in LA is like a year. <laughs> True. Overall, I know this is a very common thing. I will say when I was going through it and granted, I didn't talk about it because I truly didn't know what was happening. Yeah. I just, I felt every night, every day, so stressed. I couldn't even like figure out 
like any, anything, I couldn't feel anything other, other than stress about the situation. Now that it's gotten better, um, I'm realizing how common it can be, especially with female dogs. And three. And not even three, same breed oh, female dogs. I yeah. didn't know. And again, I wasn't planning on keeping her, but all to say, I'm very proud of Cal and I because it was, it's been very stressful, but mm -hmm. I think that we did a really good job. It took a lot of teamwork to get through everything. And we still, it's not perfect. As I said, I got bit in the face the other day, but it's getting so much better. Yeah, I'm curious. I feel like there's actually gonna be a lot of people who have advice for three dogs. For sure. Like in the comment, I feel like that's gonna be. Less than about three dogs. Cause Momo's perfect. It's more yeah. of like, if your dogs are fighting, I just let feel me know. like, <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like with the two, it's like, it's easier for them to be like, I'm alpha, you're not. But then when there's like, I just feel like there's so much. There's such a hierarchy there yeah. too. Yeah, I think it's also just personalities. Mm -hmm. Like either they're gonna, we also, we have a friend right now who's going through the same thing mm -hmm. um, and they have a Mastiff, a little terrier mix and then a St. Bernard and the St. Bernard, it was a rescue very recently and she's having a lot of aggression issues. And so he's dealing with all this stuff too. I told him about the communicator. I was like, you should hire. You oh should my God. Hire. You should because- they are doing the thing that I had to do where it's like completely Let's complete separate, separation. Yeah. And there are certain things that Cal and I are still doing that we're like to ensure that we don't ruffle feathers. Yeah. Like we have like a certain um, like uh, food. Yeah. Toys, timeline of when yeah. they eat. Yeah. Toys where they sleep. Like we're very, there's boundaries mm -hmm. for sure. Um, so we're working on that still and like keep making sure that they're keeping up with their training. Cause that's very important too. But at the end of the day, I did just have to remember like they are their dogs yeah. as much as there are babies. And as much as I'm so upset that they're fighting, like they have animal instinct. Oh yeah. And that's what we're working with right now. Oh my God. No, a thousand percent. Um, catch me and Ashley doing all of our drills with the girls. So <laughs> cute. Um, but yeah, they've, they've, Definitely. I feel like I've noticed a huge difference already. Momo's one bad thing was she would never listen to me. And now she does heal. And that's the best thing that she took away from training. Oh, I love it. She listens to me now. Oh my God. I, lo I love Momo. What about Luna? I really love Luna. Alicia too. hates Luna and Chloe. No. And Daisy. No. Uh, <laughs> you are just coming at me. You hate Chloe though. And Luna. No, I love Chloe. She's my baby. <laughs> What about Luna? I love Daisy. <laughs> She's more like Daisy. <laughs> My thing with Daisy is the second Cal came into the picture, it was like she didn't know who I was anymore. <laughs> and I was like, bitch, don't act like we didn't snug. If it all makes the you feel she does not like Cal. <laughs> I was just like, don't act like you don't know me. When I go we to town, to she won't even come near him. She'll sit on the front. She'll sit by the front door and wait. Oh no. And like, then day three, then she'll be like, I guess she's Fine. not coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just feel like Daisy and I've been through so much. You guys have. She knows deep down. She's been nice to you lately. She has, but I think she only has because I've been obsessed with Momo. I think <gasps> she's, she's like, so me. she's like, I knew you longer. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I know her. I know her. <laughs> That's so Daisy. <laughs> her, me having to say she's a cute butt when she walks. I'm going to tell her next time I see her. She'll love it. You have to say she's beautiful. Too. I mean, if someone said I had a cute butt when I was walking, I'd be like, oh, you'd like them you. too. No, you could like, like, she gets a pep in her step. I'm not even lying. I'm like, going to film it. I'll put it on the pretty basic Instagram. Please. I will. I will. Oh, love it. All to say, so happy they're finally um, getting better. Updates to come. Hopefully no updates to come, but updates to come if I anything happens. I just can't happens. believe it was $80. I remember asking you, Remy, how much money was this? And I expected you to say an arm and a leg. I'm so sorry. I would have not had a wedding if no. it, like over this, truly. No, but yeah. And I... I genuinely was so shocked when you were like, 80 bucks. I was like, okay, slay. No, she's amazing. I do think also like these psychics and communicators who don't charge an arm and a leg, like are just doing it because they want to help people. That's I, what I, I like, like to, to believe. I like to think that too. And I love Kara. Pets Eye View, link down below. Pets Eye View? Pets Eye View. I view. Pets Eye View. Like Bird's Eye View. Yeah, Pets Eye oh. View. Love it. I wonder if she's read a bird. I would love to ask wait, her. She wait, she said she read a fish, Yeah, she right? told me on my first session that she had just read a fish. And I'm so curious. Like, what do you even, how do you even do anything for a fish? She did tell me also, and I, I hope I don't get this wrong. It's not like they're like speaking to her. It's more of like objects and like photos almost. Images. That she can like, yeah, put, put like pin together to like create what they're saying, which is so interesting or what they're thinking oh rather. Oh my God. It's such a cool skill. Wait, I just picture She's like reading Daisy and she just sees the peach emoji. Yeah, just butt, butt. swishing, 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 <laughs> swishing, swishing. <laughs> What's new with you? I mean, we're almost done with the episode, but like anything that you want to bring. I mean, literally, I'm like compared to that, nothing. I compared to that, nothing. I mean, that's so funny. Well, my best friend just asked if I would go wedding dress shopping with her. <gasps> ah! 
<laughs> it's happening. I did it's not finally see that. Happening. I did not see that coming. I tried to film it, but my finger moved and I stopped the recording. But yes. I literally was like, what? It's officially beginning now, people. I definitely don't think I'm going to make it like my whole personality. No, that's so unlike you though, because you I'm so that, much anyway. No, that is so like me. I'm just, conf- I, I just, I mean- I don't know. Maybe I will, but we have started officially the process. Uh, I've narrowed it down to three potential venues and we're going to go tour them soon. And that means that I think I have to start dress shopping like soon, soon, like for real, which my fucking nightmare. I'm like, God. But also you and I are people and I know that we're not just going to try on three and find it. No, no, no. Because even if it's one of the first three, we're going to want to try on 40 more to make sure that that one is the one. I think also like I'm going to need to try on a lot to narrow down what style exactly. And then from that, I'm going to need to be very picky within the style. But then you can add a belt to change it. You can customize that. Like there's so many little things you can change. Yeah. Needless to say, I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. <laughs> I can't wait. We're going wedding dress shopping. We have so much fun stuff coming up in the next few weeks. I mean, your birthday, we got Coachella, we got Cal's birthday, mm-hmm. we got, I'm going venue searching, Vegas. we're going to Vegas, we're going to try on the bridal dresses, we're going to Japan, we're going to Korea. I feel like so much exciting things are happening. PB is about to take the fuck off. PB, worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Well, on that note, thank you guys for listening to uh, our Coachella plan slash also my time and journey with my pet communicator. I love it so much. Um, I, we do want to do a Q&A episode soon. So I feel like people should comment questions for the Q&A. Please let us know any fun questions you guys have. And we'll, I mean, it could be so random about literally anything mm-hmm. and we will answer them. But we do have a lot of content coming up I in the know. next few weeks. So can't wait. Love you guys so much. And we'll see you next week with a new episode of Pretty Basic. We love you so much. Mwah. Bye.